you interested in women's fashions? Good Lord, no. <laughs> Got a body, that's why you're here. A clothes horse. Buy yourself a rich husband with it. And write the life history of a parasite. So that's your opinion of my ability. Any unpleasantness will undoubtedly be avoided. Yours very truly. Oh. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, uh, I think that does it. What's next? Come to mademoiselle. Oui, c'est très bien. Oh, but good heavens. I never could wear it that low. There's a bedroom just in there. You'll find everything you need. We women must stick together. <laughs> oh, I don't want to stick together. <laughs> been an evil night. Isn't it a relief to get away? All through the show, we talked about nothing but the morning. Is that all? Hello? Hello? Is it late? Does it matter? Not anymore. Listen to me. Your book has a message. Life without jealousy. The Garden of Eden without the snake. Yeah, let's get out of here and go somewhere where we can talk. Don't you want to come down and join the party? Just a little tango? No? Oh, you and your messy old papers and contracts and money, money, money. Maurice. Oh. Oh, how awful. She gave me this little lock in the safe. Thank you, my dear. Where's Mackenzie? Ah, there you are. Where's my famous cricketer? A rap. Yes, sir? The car is waiting, madame. I won't need the car. I'm not going. No lengths to which I will not go to ensure my child's happiness. My old friend Gordon Rich on his, the eve of his wedding. What's the matter with you tonight, Don? I guess I'm the skeleton of the feast. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Oh, Martin. Yes, my lady. A bottle of champagne and two glasses in my boudoir. Very good, my lady. And Martin, bring Mr. Girardi's violin. Hello? Yes, this is she. No, well, I'll hold on. <laughs> Was I really as funny as all that? You weren't funny at all. I just want to laugh. Well, come on, let's go to the Gorms. I want an early start. I can't afford to lose one precious moment, you know. Everything worked perfectly, like a charm. Stuart. Now I've got to talk over the Hanaberry manuscript. Uh, I'm a little doubtful about running it. Why? It's picky with sentiment. Well, that's why I picked it. It would have happened anywhere, believe me. This isn't going to work out so well. No, don't. Don't go. Madame Renault. A table for two, yes? Never has before. It's about time I made my husband let me join him in India. 
just about time. Oh, I understand, all right. Why should I expect that life could hold anything for me except the empty thing it's always been? Well, it'll be my heartache, and that's certainly better than nothing at all. Delicately. An outgoing president must not seem to be dictating his successor, although it's been done. At the same time, it's been... I hope I see you again. Very soon. Both of you. Thank you. Good night. You don't know how to tell me what? How about last night? The way I acted. Why? I couldn't... I couldn't sleep. I couldn't think of anything except how rotten I was. You meant every word you said. Teresa, who's that man? Are you trying to be funny, Norma? No, who is he? That's Jamie Derricott, this year's ladies' man. Oh, no, Larry, don't. You've got to go. I'll talk to him. I'll make him understand. Clark! Clark! All right, Glenda. Thanks for letting me know. Those trunks were packed when I came to say goodbye to you. Well, see if you think this is direct enough. I'm trying to hate him for printing that story. Madame Collet. Yes, Monsieur Laval? Makes you dizzy. Yes. Something's making me quite dizzy. Hello, Lois. Hello. I was just admiring your secretary. Were you? I should think he'd be more useful as a social secretary. Really? So who should I run into just by accident? Oh, that is amazing. I was wishing I'd meet you. Really? Why? What do a few old costumes mean to him? He doesn't know who I am. If he did, he would have recognized me the first time he saw me here in New York. But I don't want to be free. Freedom's overrated. I know. You want a towel. You were positively the life of the party. Oh, was I? How awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, vacation is over, my friend. The book's finished. You and I are going back to the office. Oh, look who's here, Miss Woods. Couldn't see you for all the people. What a clam bake. What about the book? Oh, we're going to do wonderful things with that book. You better get out that JIP contract of yours for the professor to sign tomorrow. Well... Go ahead. I want to know the future. Suzanne, what am I going to do? I've got to do something. What do you want to do? Something I can do better than anybody else in the world. <laughs> but what? <laughs> All those streets lined with skyscrapers were built by women. What about the alleys? A woman. Unfortunately, Monsieur Giron, business bores me to distraction. Besides, I have a luncheon engagement. So I think we'd better leave the salaries just where they are. What about that cocktail? Huh? Make it two, please. Sit down, won't you? Yes. So you changed your mind. Do that often? Often. Now let's get on with the letters. Mrs. Ames, here's the man with the rowing contraption. Thank you. What is it? Use your weapon. Pull. <laughs> <laughs> well, we each have a diploma, an office, and a key. All we need now is a patient to pay the rent. <laughs> I don't love Francois either.
Ladies and gentlemen, just as this building towers above the skyline of New York, so does Lawrence Baldwin tower in American finance. I'll tell Mrs. Fendley frankly what has happened. As soon as I can, I'm going to repay her. See you. Bless you. No, no, not now. Call me later. So you're Spot White. Haven't we met before, Colonel? No, this is my first look at you. Is it overwhelming you? Why? You seem to have forgotten your manners. You don't look like celebrating. Something's wrong. Now what is it? Come over here and tell me all about it. It's nothing. You tell me what you did after I left. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm sorry, but... Sorry for what? Well, you know, I... I only know what I'm paid to know. Sophie. Sophie, what is it? Sophie, Lucy, if you say that again. Sophie. He was such a good dentist. Perhaps you'd like to try mine. Is there anything I can do for you, Miss? No, thank you. I'm just looking for somebody. Nat. Oh, darling, I'm so oh, glad to gosh, see it's you. good to see you. You're drenched. What's the idea? What are you doing here? She knows. You lied to me. Lied. Yes, you still love him, don't you? Oh, for a night he will come riding in full armor. Sweep me into his arms and carry me away. <laughs> Unlatched. Someone has been here. I knew it. Let's have a full face now, Miss Parrish. Looking fancy, please. How old is your daughter, and where was she born? Slow down, boys and girls. You wouldn't have stood by and let a thing like this happen. Now, Mademoiselle. Where are you going? Swimming. May I come along? Sure, it's anybody's ocean. I get up there. Now then, you get out. You told me to hurry, didn't you? Get out. Oh, Tony, I'll never get dressed, never. I know a lot worse things than that. <laughs> 